All right, hello. So I am about to do Code Jam Qualification Round 2020. Um, friend Dan suggested that I try to record myself doing it, so shout out to you, Dan. Um, but yeah, this is a like multi, like 27 hour long contest. Um, but it shouldn't take that long. It's the easiest of all the rounds. Um, so I figured if I was gonna do recording, um, I've never done this before, so might as well do it on one of the easier rounds. So it looks like some people already finished. Um, I'm starting like two hours late, but no worries. All you have to do, I think it's, yeah, so it says right, you have to get uh, only 30 points to advance to round one. Um, but we're gonna try to shoot for 100 points. So I'm gonna close out YouTube. Let's see. Tasks, tasks are, Okay, it means trace and line, square, trace, the sum of all the values on the main diagonal, which was the upper left, okay. I may have matrix line square if each square contains one of the n different values. Okay, so, okay, so there's only n values, and no values are repeated within a row of columns, so kind of like Sudoku. Uh, we will deal with only nat natural lines, in which n values are interested in one n, okay. It's only interesting if you want a computer to trace, you can put the check whether it's a natural line. So we're to give some additional standard stuff that ties for the matrix then. Repeat the number of rows and number of columns that contain repeated values. First line is the number of times. Okay, so let's actually let's make sure I'm actually doing root doing C plus plus. Anyway, men act. Maybe I should be doing this in a separate ID, but you know, for a simple problem like this, it should be necessary. Oh, yep, there you go, see, so, that's, uh, because I'm used to using them. Uh, sync with standard I.O. Machine one, I'm just going to switch to them. So, let's just have dual screens here. Actually, we're not just going to primes, we're going to programming contest, code jam, no, not code. Do I not have code jam folder? Uh, oh, JCJ. 2020. 2020. Qualification round. Okay, um, and this is problem A, I'd always call it. Okay, return zero, enter T, uh, iOS. This is using standard input, right? Yeah. Sync with standard IO zero is no type of. Okay. Four and drawing with zero, I equals T, I plus plus. I didn't read in T, but. For each test case, okay, so the first line is the number of test cases, each test line is the same n, matrix explore, and let's call each case explore under and enters under. Okay, so let's just make greater than that size. What does n go up to? Wait, there's only test set 1. There's only one test set. Like, hold up. Oh yeah, there's only one test set. That's weird. Okay, so only the last one has any test set. I swear, this changes every single year. Okay. Um, max then is 100. And let's read in. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. Okay, so make sure I have the format correct. Yep. And then, K K is the trace. R is the number of rows. I contain repeat LC is the number. Okay, so trace is just a 
diagonal sum, right? So it's nine. It's, yeah, okay. So the trace is correct. So that's perfect. Yeah. So this should be easy. So i is i equals n i plus plus trace plus equals squared. Yeah, I'm doing this problem really slowly. Um, I'd probably be rushing through this uh, if it was like an actual contest, but we have time. And then uh, rep rows. Get your columns. So we actually want to initiate all these. Zero. Alright. <laughs> Don't think about my brother. Okay, so I don't know, this one's just gonna iterate through the rows. So plus. Okay. You know what? The fast, fast way to do this is vector boolean. As, and this will just be size n zero has of grid of ij equals true and make sure we have to make sure to subtract one because the numbers in a row go from one to n while the uh, vector goes from zero to n minus one and then four integer i is zero i is sorry we already used i so j is zero j is less than n J plus plus. So if we didn't use that, so if we did that, then that means the row is repeated. So rep row is plus plus, and we break out this to make sure we're not double counting. Okay, now we should just do copy this exactly for our columns. Step one, sw swap J and I there, and rep calls plus plus. And I just realized that we didn't. So, so then we just so, case that, test case, plus one, um, right, so there's a column there, so we print out the trace, rep rows, and rep columns, and it doesn't matter if you use n line or backslash n, okay, so, I'll just run it. Yeah. So like all the editor and like the compilation is all gonna be slower because I'm recording. Which is why I would not actually try to do this on a contest that I'm trying to do well on. Okay, nine four eight oh two that works. Okay. Okay, yank all that. Paste. Uh, yeah, let's. Is there so there's a syntax pre check submit attempt? Is there. Oh, okay, wait, okay, well, we already ran this test, so we just want to submit our attempt. How does this work here? So it's submitting. Oh, okay, so it's judging. We might as well wait for it to judge. We could start reading the next one as well. Looks like a string problem. Uh, parentheses, given a string digits s, and a number open and close by such that a resulting string is balanced in each digit d inside it. Exactly d pairs match parentheses. Oh, okay, that's interesting. No, so we just print it out. Right, so, length of s can go up to 100. The values in s. So, they're just digits. Okay, and then I'm guessing we want S to be minimum length, yeah, each data is equal to 7, we got it. Okay, all parentheses match some other parentheses. Okay, so this is, you can think of this as like a sort of range cover problem, um, which I think should be able to be done greedily. Um, maybe to any viewer, and do I want to describe how to, how I'm thinking about this is, it's basically, um, if you imagine this as like a landscape, where like, at each like point in the string, there's like a hill of that height. Um, basically, each parentheses covers a range and adds like, or subtracts one from every single hill in that range, and then in the end, all the hills.